Good evening. Tonight we are going to do a design, a bag called Just Jean. That was the first one I did, and I did it with jean fabric and a little bit of faux leather. And it has a pocket. This is a 5x7, a 6x8, and a 7x9. Okay. And tonight we are going to do the 8x10. I have all my fabric cut and ready, and um, we are using this. This right here is called Serpent 3D Serpent Gray from My Punk of Embroidery, and this is her promo vinyl. So I have my no show poly mesh already hooped because that's what I always use on my bag, and I am going to stitch the placement stitch. Okay, as you can see, we've stitched the placement stitch and it shows you the bag outline. Now I'm gonna place my zipper and I am going to center it between or over these lines, making sure it's centered, okay? And then I'm gonna tape it. Tape it down, because I don't want it to move when, before it tacks it down. I'm gonna make sure it's taut and tight and taped, <laughs> okay? So now it's all taped, I will tack it down. Okay, it's tacked my zipper down. Now I'm gonna turn my hoop over and I'm going to take my first piece of lining and I am going to place it face down, lining it up just below the zipper, okay? And then I'm gonna tape it. over and I'm going to roll my lining I'm going to roll it right here and I'm going to tape it down so it doesn't get caught on my machine okay now I'll take it over to the machine and I will tack that down okay okay it's tacked down my zipper and it also did the placement stitch for my bottom center piece of applique fabric or my bag okay so I'm going to take this piece of fabric and with mine, I'm going to line up with the hoop, making sure it's one half inch over. The top piece right here is going to be trimmed. So, and because this, this um, serpent vinyl has a design, a darker color, I want to make sure my design's a little bit centered there. Centered as best I can get it. Okay, now I will go tack it down. Okay, it's tacked it down and it's also did the decorative stitch here and here and now I'm going to trim the edges. The top doesn't have to be trimmed now, but it does before we took, put the top piece on. So I'm just going to get it over with now. So I'm going to trim it oh, about an eighth of an inch close to the stitch line. I keep these pieces for like on the last one these are my handle tabs <laughs> for my next bag okay I've trimmed those now I'm going to send it over the machine and do the placement stitches for the sides okay it's stitched uh the placement stitches for here and here and now I'm going to take my vinyl and I'm going to place it face down making sure the side overhangs one half inch and just above that line and I'm going to confirm when I fold this back as such that it really is going to cover my lines which it does so I'm going to make sure once again I'm just over the top of the line and make sure I'm over a half inch over here. Now make sure it is a half inch at the bottom, okay? Because you don't want just the top because the bottom's further or, you know, wider. So I'm going to put both of these right here, face down, overhang a half inch, right here at the bottom, a half inch, and then I'm going to go tack it down. Okay, as you can see, it's tacked them both down. Now I'm going to trim this and this away. Okay, 
Now that I have those trimmed away, I'm going to take my vinyl and press it evenly. So my gap right here between this edge and that line is straight, okay? Doesn't matter about the top because that's gonna be cut off. As long as you're over a half inch round, uh, over the edge, all this is gonna be cut off, okay? So I got that, I'm gonna tape it down. And I don't want it to bubble or anything, so I'm gonna tape it really well. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Make sure my line's straight. I'm gonna tape it here, tape it here, and tape it there. Now I'll go do the tack down, okay? Okay, it's did the stitch. Now I'm gonna remove my tape. Sorry about that, my little dog's in here. Set my tape aside, maybe I can reuse it. Okay, now I'm gonna trim the top so I can do the placement stitch, the next placement stitch. Okay. All right, now I've trimmed the top. Now it's gonna do the placement stitch for the fabric up there or vinyl, okay? Okay, it's did the placement stitch there. Now I'm gonna take my piece of vinyl and I am going to line it up right here and just above that tack placement stitch and tack it down. Okay, it's tacked down my piece of vinyl here. Now I'm going to fold it up. And like the rest, I'm gonna make it nice and even. I don't want it to roll back down, so I'm gonna tape it everywhere. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the tack down stitch. Okay, it's did the tack down. Now, depending on how neatly you cut, you can cut this straight across there and leave it at just like this, or you can trim it close to the stitch and do the satin stitch, okay? I don't know if I can cut it straight enough, but we will try. I don't know, I'm gonna use the zipper as my guide. And if not, I will, whoops, see, I just went off the zipper. Palm down, go slow. And I went off the zipper again. Yeah, okay, I'm not very good. Had I cut my vinyl maybe two and a quarter inches, it would have been perfect, but I cut it two and a half. So now I'm gonna just trim it close. And I will do the satin stitch, <laughs> okay? There we go. Now I'll do the satin stitch and be right back. Okay, I stitched my satin stitch. Now I'm gonna take, remove my tape from my lining up there, turn my hoop over, and I'm going to pull my lining down and pull it snug and tape it in the corners so it doesn't pop back up. Okay, and now I'll do the tack down. Okay, it's tacked down my lining. Okay, all right, and it also did my placement stitches right there for my purse handles, tabs, my purse handle tabs. Because this serpent uh, this 3D Serpent vinyl has a design. I want to make sure when it's up the front of my bag, the design, the scales are facing down. Okay, so now I will take and I will tape my, I always line my D, D clip or D hoop ring <laughs> right below my zipper because I don't like a lot of uh, 
purse tab showing and I also put a little piece of tape on my metal thing on my D ring so now once again I'll make sure my handle my tab is going to be facing the right direction and I'll line that up right under my zipper as well and tape it then I will send it over to the machine and I will do the tack down Sorry for the arm. Okay, it's tacked my purse tabs down. I'm gonna remove this and this take this tape out and I am going to unzip my zipper, okay? Very important to do that. And now I'm gonna put my tab back, tape, tape my tab back down and I'm also going to put a little piece of tape on my metal tab there, on my zipper tab, okay? All right, now, if you want a pocket on the back, like this one has the pocket on the back, if you want a pocket on the back, your fabric goes on now, okay? Once again, this, this 3D Serpent has a pattern, so I want the pattern down, and it goes face down, make sure it's, one half inch below the stitch line and it has to be below the zipper okay it has to be below the zipper or you will zip it close okay or sew it closed I'm sorry not zip it closed doy okay so I always tap tape my pocket so it doesn't move because I don't want it crooked in the end now I will take my full sheet of back vinyl or fabric and it goes over the whole design face down just like that now a reminder make sure your zipper is open now okay all right now let's go do the tack down okay it did the tack down okay of the pocket and the back fabric vinyl i'm going to turn it over and i'm going to take this opportunity to remove my stabilizer right here behind my zipper okay for that i just make a little cut and i just slide my scissors usually just slide them like that sorry for the noise turn it and do it here too okay slide it and just make sure I don't catch the fabric okay once that's trimmed out it's easier to do it now than later I'm just saying okay now you're gonna take your other piece of lining and you are gonna place it face down over, make sure you're a half inch above that stitch line up there actually it's that stitch line but it doesn't matter I always make sure okay put it down tape it in place because it's gonna get turned over so you definitely want it taped in place and send it over the machine to do the last stitch okay and then your bag is done other than turning it right side out okay all right, be right back. Okay, there we have it. It's all stitched. Now I'm gonna go around and remove all the bits of tape I have everywhere. All right, I'll be right back after that's all done. Okay, I have all my tape removed. I'm gonna do a quick trim of the stabilizer. Get it out of my way. Okay, I'm gonna turn my bag over. And this is how I start. I flip back my lining, my two layers of lining, and then I trim the bottom of the bag right about a quarter of an inch or so. And let that down, and then I trim the rest of the bag. Okay, well, first I'm gonna angle this over so I don't forget and cut it. <laughs> you angle it right to the seam there where your last stitch ended which it ended there and there. Okay, now 
I will turn it over and I will uh, trim my bag all the way around about a quarter of an inch. Okay. Oops. Let's pull it crooked. It's kind of hard to hold. It's so big. I'm not used to making these big ones. I usually have Dennis do it. All right, there we go. Let's get that out. Set the scissors aside. Actually, let's hang them back up. Okay, so now it's all trimmed. What I'm gonna do is turn it right side out between the lining. Take your fingers, squish it all up. You wanna be gentle, cause you don't wanna tear your lining. And trust me, it will tear. You know, if you're not kinda of gentle. So just kinda use your fingers and your thumb and push the corners in. Try to pull them out like one at a time. Once it starts coming, you know, and that, then it becomes easy. And all of a sudden it's like, oh. Sometimes. <laughs> all right, come on. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Push the corners out. Push the corners out. Use my fingers to push out the ends here. Reach under there, push them out like such. Okay, lay it flattish. Oh, I'll lift this corner in, up here in. There we go, ouch. Darn, that bent my nail back. Dang it. Now I use my handy dandy paintbrush to push all the corners out. Okay, and then I fold my flaps down. All right, and I still haven't found my glue, and I don't think I angled this over enough. Huh. Usually I'm pretty good at that, but obviously not tonight, Satan. Okay, well, sorry. <laughs> sorry, my bad. Okay, let me get my uh, tape, my two-sided tape here. And I am going to put this, this is called Fabric Fuse, I think it's called. I think Jacqueline told me about this. Love it. Okay. Cut that. There we go. And so what you're going to do now is you're just going to tuck your your two flaps in and then you're going to seal it whether it's going to be glue sew it by hand or um this fabric fuse whatever you want to use you're just going to close this seam right here okay for some reason the camera was freaking out so you just take your two bottom pieces of lining and tuck it inside and then seal it i used fabric fuse you can use glue or sew it by hand okay now i'm going to remove my tape from my zipper here okay and try to get it unstuck from my finger and unzip my zipper okay unzip my zipper and then i'm going to turn it right side out between the back and the pocket not between the pocket okay between the back and the pocket so the two pretty sides, turn it right side out from there. So you just want to press your corners out the same again, okay? And get this corner and do the same. There we go. I must admit, it's a lot easier to turn in these big bags than it is the little bags. Okay, so 
there's some good corners, like so. My handy dandy tool to make sure they're all, everything's all pressed out nice and neat. Okay. Take my tape off that was holding my purse tabs off, up, down, I mean, okay. And I always close this one a little bit and then take my tool and poke that corner out as well. There's my tabs. All right, look at that. There we go. One just jean. I will add a cam snap or a snap. I might do a magnetic snap back here, a black one or a gray one if I have it right here. And uh, there's the inside of the bag. Okay, thank you.